Mike Tyson is one of the most celebrated boxers of all time, a true icon in the sport. His remarkable achievements inside the ring have earned him the adulation of boxing fans around the world, with many considering him to be the greatest heavyweight champion in the history of the sport. He has a net worth of $15 million. Despite his retirement from professional boxing, Mike's love for the sport remains as strong as ever. He has continued to engage with boxing in every possible aspect, from training young fighters to promoting fights and even taking part in exhibition matches himself. His passion for the sport is evident in everything he does, and it's clear that boxing is still a huge part of his life. In recent years, Tyson has made headlines for his return to the ring, participating in a number of high-profile exhibition fights. Despite being in his mid-50s, Mike's speed, power and technical ability was still evident in the ring, much to the amazement of his fans. His comeback was a testament to his dedication and commitment to the sport, as well as his unwavering desire to compete at the highest level. For Mike, boxing is more than just a sport. It's a way of life. It's a discipline that has shaped him into the person he is today, and he continues to draw inspiration and motivation from it. In his many interviews and appearances, he speaks fondly of his early days in the sport, recalling the challenges he faced and the triumphs that followed. Born on June 30th, 1966, in Brooklyn, New York, Tyson was raised in Brownsville, a tough neighborhood that was rife with poverty, crime, and violence. Growing up in such an environment, Mike was exposed to the harsh realities of life at a young age and was forced to confront them head on. He has recently revealed that he has been suffering from sciatica, a condition that can cause severe pain and discomfort in the lower back, hips and legs. This condition has been known to leave Mike unable to speak when it flares up, which has understandably caused concern among his fans. Tyson's recent appearance in a wheelchair at a Miami airport has only added to the worries about his condition. It's clear that the pain and discomforts caused by sciatica have made it difficult for him to move around and go about his daily life. In addition to using a wheelchair, Mike has also been seen using a walking stick to help him get around during interviews and public appearances. This has led many to wonder about the severity of his condition and how it may be impacting his overall health and well-being. Despite the concerns, Tyson has remained positive and determined in the face of his health challenges. In interviews, he has spoken openly about his struggles with sciatica and how he is working with doctors and specialists to manage his symptoms and find relief from the pain. Mike's openness about his condition has been inspiring to many, as it shows that even the greatest athletes can face health challenges as they get older. He has also used his platform to raise awareness about sciatica and other chronic pain conditions, encouraging others to seek help and treatment if they are experiencing similar symptoms. While it's clear that Tyson's condition has impacted his mobility and overall health, it's important to remember that he is still a formidable force in the world of boxing. He continues to maintain a rigorous training that keeps him in excellent physical shape. Mike's training is nothing short of intense, with the former heavyweight champion committing several hours each day to his workouts. In an interview with Joe Rogan, he explained that he typically trains for around two and a half hours each day, working on a range of different exercises that help to build strength, endurance, and agility. Tyson's current training regime involves a mix of weightlifting, cardio, and boxing training all aimed at keeping him in top shape physically and mentally. Although he is no longer a professional boxer, he continues to train like one, and he regularly posts videos of his workouts on social media, much to the delight of his fans. Weightlifting is a significant part of Mike's training, and he typically lifts weights four to five times a week. His workouts often include deadlifts, squats, bench presses, and other compound exercises. He is known to train heavy, using weights that most people his age would not be able to handle. In addition to weightlifting, Tyson also incorporates cardio into his training. He typically runs on a treadmill for about 30 minutes a day and also does sprints, stair sprints, and other forms of high intensity interval training. He believes that cardio is critical for maintaining his overall health and well-being. 
boxing training is another essential part of Mike's regime. He spends a significant amount of time honing his skills on the pads and heavy bag, often working with a trainer or sparring partner. He also practices footwork drills, shadow boxing, and defensive techniques. His training is designed to keep his boxing skills sharp, even if he never competes again. Tyson's current training is also influenced by his interest in martial arts, specifically Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He is a white belt in the discipline and has been training with the renowned trainer Rafael Cordero. His training includes grappling and ground fighting. In addition to his regular workouts, Mike also emphasizes the importance of recovery and relaxation. He is a big believer in the benefits of hot baths and saunas, which he uses to help his muscles recover after intense workouts. He also practices yoga and meditation, which helps him maintain his mental focus and clarity. Tyson's current diet is primarily focused on high protein and low carbohydrate foods. He typically eats six small meals a day, and each meal contains a combination of lean protein, healthy fats, and vegetables. His diet also includes some complex carbohydrates, such as brown rice or sweet potatoes, but he keeps his intake of simple carbohydrates, such as sugar and processed foods, to a minimum. Mike starts his day with a breakfast that typically includes eggs, turkey bacon, and a protein shake. He also eats fruit, such as a banana or apple, to provide a quick source of energy. For his mid-morning snack, he might eat a protein bar or a handful of almonds. For lunch, he'll typically eat a salad or a chicken breast with vegetables. He might have a second protein shake as an afternoon snack. And for dinner, Mike eats a meal similar to his lunch, often including fish or lean meat. One key aspect of Tyson's diet is his focus on hydration. He drinks plenty of water throughout the day to keep his body hydrated and his metabolism running smoothly. He also avoids alcohol and other sugary drinks, opting instead for water, tea, or an occasional cup of coffee. While Mike's diet is relatively strict, he allows himself some indulgences. He is a self-proclaimed foodie and enjoys trying different foods, but he is careful to avoid overindulging or consuming foods that are too high in fat or sugar. When he does indulge, he typically opts for healthier options, such as a small piece of dark chocolate or a protein-based dessert. Throughout his career, Tyson has earned substantial amount of wealth, which he has used to invest in several properties, including houses. One of his most notable homes is a 10,000 square foot mansion located in Henderson, Nevada, which he purchased in 2016 for $2.5 million. The house is situated in a gated community and features six bedrooms, six bathrooms, a pool, a spa, and a three-car garage. The mansion also has a media room, a gym, and a basketball court, making it the perfect home for training. Another one of Mike's luxurious properties is a mansion located in Ohio. He purchased this house in 2019 for $1.3 million, and it features five bedrooms, five bathrooms, a home theater, a gym, and a swimming pool. The property is located on a 58-acre estate, giving Tyson plenty of privacy and space to train and relax. In addition to his lavish homes, Mike also owns a modest townhouse located in Las Vegas. The house is situated in a gated community and features three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Although this property is not as grand as his other homes, it's still a comfortable and convenient place to stay when he is in Las Vegas. Tyson has also been known to invest in real estate projects, including a luxury condo complex in Dubai. In 2017, he was announced as a partner in the development of the Akoya Oxygen Project, which is being built by Damak Properties. The project will feature more than 10,000 residential units, including apartments, villas, and townhouses, as well as retail and hospitality offerings. Aside from his own properties, Mike has also been known to rent luxury homes for short-term stays. In 2020, he rented a massive mansion in Scottsdale, Arizona, for a few weeks while he filmed a promotional video. The property was worth $10 million and featured eight bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, a home theater, a gym, and a swimming pool. One of the keys to Tyson's success is his access to top-notch training facilities. 
Over the years, he has trained in a number of gyms, each with its own unique atmosphere and training equipment. Iron Mike Productions Gym is located in Las Vegas, Nevada, and is owned by Tyson himself. The gym is where he does most of his training, and it is outfitted with state-of-the-art equipment that is specifically designed for boxing. The gym is open to the public, and he often invites other boxers and trainers to train alongside him. The gym has a large ring, several heavy bags, speed bags, and other training equipment that is used by Mike and his trainers. He also has access to a private training room where he can work on specific techniques and movements without being disturbed. Overall, the Iron Mike's Productions Gym is a world-class training facility that is perfect for Tyson's training needs. The Wild Card Boxing Club is a legendary gym located in Hollywood, California that has trained some of the greatest boxers of all time, including Manny Pacquiao and Oscar De La Hoya. The gym is owned by legendary trainer Freddie Roach, who has trained Mike for many years. The Wild Card Boxing Club is a full-service gym that offers a wide range of boxing training equipment and programs. The gym has a large ring, several heavy bags, speed bags, and other training equipment that is used by boxers of all levels. Tyson often visits the gym to train with Roach and other top trainers, and he's even sparred with some of the gym's top fighters. The Mayweather Boxing Club is another famous gym located in Las Vegas, Nevada, that has trained some of the greatest boxers of all time, including Floyd Mayweather Jr. The gym is owned by boxing promoter Leonard Ellaby, and is widely regarded as one of the best boxing gyms in the world. The Mayweather Boxing Club has a full range of boxing training equipment, including a large ring, several heavy bags, speed bags, and other training equipment that is used by boxers of all levels. Mike has trained at the gym in the past, and he has even sparred with Mayweather Jr. on occasion. Gleason's Gym is a legendary boxing gym located in Brooklyn, New York, that has been in operation since 1937. The gym has trained some of the greatest boxers of all time, including Muhammad Ali and Roberto Duran. Gleason's Gym is a full-service gym that offers a wide range of boxing training equipment and programs. The gym has a large ring, several heavy bags, speed bags, and other training equipment that is used by boxers of all levels. Tyson has trained at the gym in the past, and he's even sparred with some of the gym's top fighters. Phoenix Fitness is a gym located in Las Vegas, Nevada, that specializes in strength and conditioning training for boxers and other athletes. The gym is owned by top strength and conditioning coach, Brad Bowes, who has worked with Mike in the past. Almost three years have passed since Mike Tyson last stepped into the ring for an exhibition fight against Roy Jones Jr. Fans were thrilled to witness the return of the legendary former heavyweight champion, hoping it wouldn't be the last time they saw him showcase his skills in the ring. However, concerns about his health and well-being have raised doubts about the possibility of seeing him in another exhibition fight. Despite these worries, recent footage of his training suggests that Mike still has the ability to compete in the ring, bringing hope to fans eager to see him fight again. It's understandable that Tyson will want to maintain his fitness levels and continue to train, even if it's not for the purpose of another exhibition fight. His passion for boxing remains as strong as ever, and he has spoken openly about his love for the sport and his desire to stay involved in any way he can. While it's uncertain whether we'll see Iron Mike in the ring again, the prospect of another exhibition belt is undoubtedly exciting for fans. With his impressive track record and remarkable skill set, Tyson's return to the ring would undoubtedly be a highly anticipated event.